morning. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to score uh, more in exams like IIT J with very less knowledge. So here is a question of IIT J 2010, and uh, this is a comprehension-based question which came in IIT J 2010, and I'm going to show you the solution of these three comprehension-based questions in a very easy manner with very little knowledge. Fine. I'm going to read the question. The question says tangents are drawn from the point P 3 comma 4 to the ellipse x square by 9 plus y square by 4 equal to 1 touching the ellipse at points A and B. The first part says find the coordinates of A and B. The second says find the orthocenter of the triangle PAB and the third says find the equation of the locus of the point whose distances from the point P and the line AB are equal and then find the locus. So I am going to show you the solutions. I am erasing the question. See, my approach will be diagram based. I will solve the uh, three questions on the basis of diagram solving. It was said that there is an ellipse, there is an ellipse having an equation x square by 9 plus y square by 4 equal to 1. So I am going to make that ellipse. How? The general equation of ellipse is x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. So from here I can see that a equal to 3 and b equal to 2. Fine. So this a is the length of the major axis, this will be 3 comma 0 and this will be minus 3 comma 0 and similarly this will be 0 comma 2 and this will be 0 comma minus 2. So this is our required ellipse, this is the rough diagram of our required ellipse. Now see the question becomes very easy, very easy. We need to make two tangents from the point 3 comma 4. So 3 comma 4 would be lying somewhere here, somewhere here. 3 comma 4. This length is 2. So 4 will lie somewhere, somewhere here. From here we are making two tangents to the ellipse. So it will be like this, like this. Sure. So we need to find the coordinates of A and B. This is A and this is B. We need to find the coordinates of A and B. Now C. Now check the options. The options are 3 comma 0. Yes, it can be an answer. And 0 comma 2. 0 comma 2. No, it can't be an answer. Eliminate it. Second option, minus 8 by 5, it will be somewhere here, comma, 2 root, six, uh, root 161 by 15. So, this can be an option. And the second option is minus 9 by 5 and 8 by 5. So, both the, coord uh, both the coordinates of A and B lie in the second coordinate, which is not possible as seen by the diagram. So, option B is also not the correct answer. Now, third option, minus 8 by 5, minus 8 by 5, comma 2 root 161 by 15 again this can be an option and 0 comma 2 0 comma 2 no it can be the option now let's check option d 3 comma 0 yes it can be an option and minus 9 by 5 comma 8 by 5 this is no this is this point and minus 9 by 5 is in the uh, second quadrant minus 9 by 5 comma 8 by 5 so this is the correct answer we don't need to solve anything we don't need to make the equation of the tangents we will just draw the diagram see the coordinates and check the points from the options now Second question, we need to find the ortho center of triangle PAB. Now this is point P, this is point P, this is A, this is B, this is a rough triangle. We need to find the ortho center of the uh, triangle PAB. So we make a rough ortho center, we make a perpendicular from this line to the opposite vertex, it will be like this. From this line to the opposite vertex, it will be like this. And from this line to opposite of what is like this. So the ortho center will be nearly this point. It will be nearly this point. So I can see that this point, if this is 3, then this is 2 point something or nearly 2, and this is 1 point something. So this is the ortho center, 2 point something and 1 point something. I can see, I can check it. If this is 2, then this is obviously 1 point something, and if this is 3, this is obviously near, near to 2. So in the options, this is 5, 8 by 7, 5, 8 by 7. Not correct answer. 
7 by 5 comma 25 by 8, it's 1 point something and 3 point something. 1 point something and 3 point something, it's not the correct answer. 11 by 5 comma 8 by 5, it's 2 point something and 1 point something, this is the correct answer. And 8 by 25, it's 1 by 4, it's here and 7 by 5, it's here. No, option C is correct then. Fine. Nice. You just need to check the rough coordinates for these type of solutions. If you are going to solve these questions, then it will take 5 to 6 minutes. But if we do it by this method, it will take hardly 1.5 minutes or 2 minutes. Now the last question. Last question seems to be difficult, but it's not. We need to find the equation of the locus of the point, equation of the locus of the point whose distance is from the point P, whose distance is from the point P and the line AB, whose distance is from the point P and the line AB. This is the line AB and this is the point P. We need to find the locus of a point. We need to find the locus of a point whose distances from the point P and the line AB are equal, are equal. So, there will be many points here, many points here, there will be a conic here, which, whose every point will be equidistance from P and the line AB, equidistance from P and the line AB, equidistance from P and the line AB. So, how to solve this? See, if we can get at least one point, which, sat, which should satisfy the equation, then we can put that point here in all the options and check whether it is satisfying or not. If it satisfies, then that is the answer. Now, let's think a little bit. We know the straight line is AB, which is passing through 3, 0, which is passing through 3, 0. Now, and the point P is 3, 4. Can 3, 2 be a point? which is, I can say, according to the conic, is nearly equal to both the distances, 3.4 uh, 3, and 3.0, 3, uh, 3.2 can be a point, right? AB is a line passing to 3.0 and point P is 3.4. We need to find the locus of the equation, we need to find the equation of a conic whose distances from point P and the straight line AB is always equal. So, 3.2 can be a rough point having equal distances which is 2 from point P and line AB as well. So I will satisfy, I will put the point 3, 2 in all the equations and check which is the answer. So by applying this, I see in option A, 3, 2, I will put 3, 2, so it's 81 plus 4 minus 36 minus 162 minus 124 plus 241. I will see whether it's equal to 0 or not. 85 plus 241. It's uh, 326. It's 326. Sorry. Uh, 241. 6. Yeah, 326. And minus... 36, 162, and 124. It's 322. So 326 minus 322 is nearly equal to 0. As I said, this is a near point which satisfies this because we need to see the point according to the conic. So it nearly satisfies this. Uh, so option A is the correct answer. So by applying these methods, it will take hardly 5 to 10 minutes to solve uh, 3 questions in IITJ and in ITJ, 15 marks is for sure from coordinate geometry and we can solve each and every question by this method. Nearly each and every question by this method. Without having much knowledge. I solved it without any knowledge. So, thank you.